play begins. Dejon Thompson and Cedric Bozeman are leading the way in Westwood. UCSB head coach Bob Williams is looking for a conference player of the year, senior Brandon Fulop, just back from injury, to lead the Gauchos back to the postseason for the third straight season. It's Santa Barbara and UCLA next on Fox Sports Net. Boy, what a great day it was in Southern California today. Who would have thought it was December with the uh, gorgeous weather? And although school is out for holiday, the fans are here. It's time to come on inside legendary Pauley Pavilion, where Fox Sportsnet is proud to present college basketball tonight. A Southern California matchup, the Gauchos of UCSB coming on down to take on the Bruins of UCLA. Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm Bill McDonald alongside Jack Haley. We think we've got a good one for you tonight. And Jack, it's a key three-game stretch for UCLA. They get to think about nothing but basketball with finals over. But here come the Gauchos, and it's Michigan State and Michigan before conference begins. And for Ben Hallen, he's finally healthy. T.J. Cummings is back. Trevor Reza is back. And they are playing great basketball. They've been struggling offensively. But now that he's got a full complement of players, he should be able to get the team going. T.J. Cummings has made the grade. Literally, he's academically eligible, and he will play tonight. Yes, he will. It's a big boost for the club. He does a lot of things for, for UCLA. One, he's very active scorer, averaged 10 points. He can rebound. I talked to him a couple of minutes ago. He told me his goal tonight, averaged 10 points, 10 rebounds a game, and to try to make his teammates better, and most importantly, bring some senior leadership, something they really need on the floor. Here in Westwood, youth is definitely being served because the best player on the UCLA team tonight might be a first-year player in Trevor Ariza. Well, definitely the most productive player. Trevor Ariza is a guy who can really help the, the Bruins in a lot of different ways. He can score. He's averaging 14 points a game. He's a very uh, tenacious rebounder. He, he runs down loose balls. He's a very good de defender. And the best thing he does, see the floor. He's a playmaker. So he's going to try to make his teammates better. When he gets the ball in the low post, look for them to cut off him, try to get some easy dimes. With the team now available, it's time to define the roles and define the rotation for Ben Howland and the UCLA Bruins tonight as they take on the Couchos of UCSB. They're ready to go, so are we. We hope you are too. We'll take a quick break when Jack and I come back. The lineups and the start of tonight's game live from Pauley Pavilion. Welcome to Lee Adams Discount Sales. We have the largest selection of big screens and entertainment centers on the planet. We've been serving the Inland Empire for over 20 years. You'll find everything for your home video and audio needs. Hang on the wall, flat panel TVs, indoor or outdoor speakers, entertainment centers, big screen TVs, and much, much more. So come into our new home theater. And we want to thank you for the opportunity to serve you. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Missing it would definitely spoil the surprise. See your Lexus dealer. The pros at Hobby People offer you the biggest selection of radio control vehicles, micro RC cars, nitro, burning desert racers, and dirt kick and high jump and monster trucks. For Hobby People store locations, call 866 Hobby for you. 866 Hobby for you. Nobody offers you more. Nobody. Nobody. Oh. I should have gotten fajitas. Ooh, fajitas. Taco Bell's fajita grilled stuffed burrito. Mm. It'll make you regret getting anything else. Mm. Oh, you should have gotten fajitas. Sizzling marinated carne asada steak and tasty fajita veggies. All wrapped in a flour tortilla and grilled to go. Ah, oh, I should have gotten fajitas. Taco Bell's fajita grilled stuffed burrito. Nothing beats the sizzle when you think outside the bun. Don Giovanni Collection. The best damn sports show, period. Weeknights on Fox Sports Net. Fox Sports Net is proud to present UCLA basketball, brought to you by the California Department of Conservation, by the bottles and cans that want to be recycled, and by Corona Extra, miles away from ordinary. 
Goody Mac and Jack back at Pauley Pavilion. Glad you're with us on Fox Sports Net tonight. The Bruins and the Gauchos. Gauchos come in with a record of four and two. They've won their lone road game at Hawaii. And the Bruins are three and one. Their lone loss was down at the pond uh, in the John Wooden Classic when they uh, lost to Kentucky. Let's take a look at the starting last brought to you by Corona Extra Jack Haley. We'll take a look at first UCLA Bruins. Trevor Rees of the freshman and DeJon Thompson, your forwards. That's where most of your offensive firepower is going to come from. On the other side, for the Gauchos, keep an eye on guard Cecil Brown. He's an offensive machine. He can really put the ball in the basket, and he's not starting tonight. But Bren Fullove is their best player. He was the Big West player of the year last year. Look for him to come in and try to get off early. Now, Bob Williams in his sixth year and a two-time Big West coach of the year. He won the award last year and in 99. Uh, he has made it to the postseason a couple of years in a row. Last year, the NIT two years ago in the NCAAs where they uh, really gave Arizona a hard time before losing a close one. On the other end, Ben Howland. And Jack, it's sort of a special game for Ben because for 12 years, he was an assistant coach up at Isla Vista for UCS. And there's nothing Ben Howland wants to do than to beat his old club, Santa Barbara, and he's gonna try to get it done tonight. In his first year here, of course, at UCLA, 10th year as a collegiate coach. Bruins will be in their home whites. And the Gauchos in their visiting blues trimmed in gold. We certainly hope you enjoy it. The Bruins and the Gauchos, who have won three in a row all at home. So they are trying to uh, keep that momentum alive as they gear towards their conference opener in a couple of weeks, too. Down low, here's Casey Cook. Cook is going to be fouled. Oh, traveling is called on the outside. And the first turnover of the game in the first 13 seconds belongs to UCSB. We saw that right away. UCSB worked really hard on trying to attack the big players inside. They went right away to Casey Cook and he just got a little bit ahead of himself. I think the nerves got him on that one. First time that Santa Barbara had some decent size. They were very small last year. Here's a quick pass to Thompson and he drops it out of bounds. Uh, so Dijon Thompson, it's one turnover apiece. And why don't we say we start all over again and bring it up as Jacoby Ataco, one of the seniors on this team. And Really, it's feast or famine with him. Three games, he has a total of three points. The other three games, a total of 49 points. You really don't know what you're going to get with Jacoby, the point guard. Off of a pick, here's Josh Davis. He's a sophomore from Mobile, Alabama. Cecil Brown, you talked about him, Jack, and it's nothing but net. Two to nothing. An explosive score, Cecil Brown. He elevates so well off the floor. He's a great athlete when you can just jump over guys and shoot. Sometimes it's easy to finish. 16 points in each of the last three games for Brown out of Canoga Park. Here's uh, Thompson. Boy, he's having trouble very much uh, with the uh, attacking defense by Josh Davis. So Dijon Thompson has to settle down. Second turnover for him and the Bruins. I don't know if you've got to settle down or wake up, but the UCLA Bruins sloppy in the first two possessions. I mean, you've got to come ready to play. With the jump ball, a lot of players start after the jump ball. You've got to start with the jump ball. Uh, the Bruins edged LMU in overtime here on Saturday. They blew a 14-point lead in the final five minutes. Baseline jumper, in and out, no. Rebound, ticked out of bounds. Last touch by Casey Cook. And remember, Brandon Fulov, last year's Conference Player of the Year, is available. Played 13 minutes in their last game, and he should see considerable more action tonight after missing five games with an ankle. And UCSB picking up immediately in a more pressure situation. Knowing the UCLA is turnover prone, or UCLA averaging 15 turnovers a game. And 21 turnovers against the Lions of Loyola Marymount. Another whistle, so a stop and go start to this one. Two to nothing. Bruins down. Josh Davis picks up his first. First team foul on Santa Barbara. Out of bounds. Here's Trevor Ariza. We're very anxious to see him here tonight. He misses his first shot. A little bit too hard off the glass. And they'll push the basketball. You know, they go very deep at Santa Barbara, which will allow them to run a little bit more than maybe they would have in the past. Josh Davis for three, and it's five to nothing. And so far, they've gotten two guys knock down shots earlier. I talked about Cecil Brown with Josh Davis. He's also a guy who can really get it going offensively. Nice shot by him. You know, it's funny, that's his fifth three of the year. That's not his game, no, it's though. Not. No, he's, he's not. He's more of a slasher, a, a finisher, a garbage player around the hoop. Good pass underneath. The Reza, the pump fake, and counted. Assist out on top, Cedric Bozeman. And that is what Trevor Ariza does so well, is ball control around the basket. You saw the pump fake there and the nice finish inside. Ariza just played in his first game against Loyola Marymount after uh, missing the first few with a lung problem and then uh, airing on the side of Kosh, who back door 
Going to be out of bounds. Good idea, bad execution off the leg of Josh Davis, second turnover. You'll see a lot of that from UCSB. They like to run a, a lot of motion in their offense when they come up and go 1-4 like that. A lot of backdoor and a lot of screens away from the basketball, trying to get cutters moving on the weak side. They'll stretch it out to a little bit, extend the court. They are looking for a win number four in a row, as mentioned, Ariza. Trevor's his first name out of Westchester High. Morrison's oh, alone. He knocks it down. You know what he can do. All you got to do is go back to the game against UC Riverside when he was six out of eight from three-point range and scored 28 points. Great execution on the other end by UCLA. A nice pick down there. They got Morrison free. No one within 10 feet of him when he took that shot. Ball stolen. Bozeman had some problems. Gets it to Dijon. Thompson front court. Thompson dribbled. Now back out on top to Bozeman to the post. Here's Faye. Turn around with the left hand. Oh, he's got such a nice soft touch. And by the way, Faye, if you do not know, missed a, a good portion of the game the other night after being poked in the eye at the 14-minute mark and was taken to the hospital. Stolen away by Bozeman, but he stepped out of bounds and will go the other way. Yeah, Michael Faye, when he's playing big for UCLA, it makes such a difference. And as you said, he got poked in the eye. I talked to him today. He said he had a couple scratches on his eye. His vision's a little blurry, but it shouldn't bother him much. Right now, it's more cosmetic than anything. You know what I think the difference in Faye is? He knows he's not going to get yanked if he makes a mistake Absolutely. or in a few minutes. He knows he's going to be out there for the majority of the game. A lot of difference in Michael Faye's game. He's come back this year in shape. His body's coming together. He's worked exceptionally hard on his offense, and he knows Ben Howland has a lot of confidence in him. You know, he's, he's really improved his low post game with his back to the basket, and it's starting to show. Bruins on a 7-0 run after falling behind 5-0, but here's Casey Cook with his first basket. We're tied at 7, by the way, out of Concord De La Salle High School uh, in Walnut Creek, California. Joe C., number 11, is in the game. Joe C., number 11, an explosive score. If he gets going, watch out. He can shoot the ball from deep, four or five feet behind the three-point line. Dejon Thompson went right on went that right. first dribble. Don McClain gave us the thumbs up on the other side. He's been going left so many times. That's a good move by Thompson, and he knocks it down. Here's Cook. Cook dribble drive, stops, 10-footer on the way, settles in over Faye. So two in a row for Cook, and we're tied at nine, four minutes in. And that's really good coaching right there by Bob Williams of UCSB, knowing that uh, Cook has the quickness advantage. He's squaring up Faye on the other end, and he's able to make two baskets. In a row. Bruins have made four field goals in succession as they have it in the attacking zone. Underneath for Thompson from Ariza, guns it back out. Will Bozeman hit his first three? Weak side rebound, collected there by Josh Davis. Everybody gets back quickly. Davis, who's starting instead of Fulham at this juncture. He was going to redshirt at the start of the season. <laughs> they can that plan very early when uh, Nick Jones was suspended for eight games and Fulham missed the five with the ankle. Out on top, pretty good ball movement. A lot of activity here in their offense. Kind of running a three-man weave, trying to get some penetration. Blocked by Fay. he averages two a game, and. Cecil Brown never had an opportunity. Pushing is Morrison. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound off, and it's nothing but blue in Casey Cook. Quickly now, Cecil Brown. A couple of years ago, he sat out with a herniated disc. Made a great comeback last year. Bounces down low at the base to Cameron Getchy, and he's fouled. Nothing like being able to go to your bench, though. You've got two big seven-footers coming right back in. Ryan Hollins and T.J. Cummings, senior. We'll talk about T.J. when we come back after this. Take a break. Deshaun Thompson, sweet move. And the jumper. But right now, the Bruins and the Gauchos are tied at nine. Uh-huh. <laughs> I remember it. The game against West. Two seconds left. You put up a Hail Mary. I make the catch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wow. Talk all you want this holiday. Get unlimited nationwide SBC long distance calling for just $20 a month guaranteed. One more way, we bring it all home. Totally Football is your inside source for gridiron news. Jay, you were actually the one who called Keyshawn to tell him he was being deactivated. Insider Jay Glazer breaks the story before anyone else. I spoke to some team officials today, and they do think that there's a good chance he can get a year suspension. Inside the huddle, behind the scenes, and breaking news. Test positive for THG. You're going to have a four-game ban. Totally Football, weeknights on Fox Sports Net.
It's a Fox NFL Saturday special. The electrifying Michael Vick has returned and sparks the Falcons' offensive attack. But the defending champs have what it takes to shut down the Phenom and must win to keep their postseason hopes alive. Then on Sunday, the Eagles have locked up a playoff berth and now eye home field advantage. But the Niners are primed to knock off the NFC's top team. The Falcons take on the Bucks Saturday, followed by a Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader this weekend. Happy holidays from the Los Angeles Kings, Fox Sports Network. The spirit of Westwood alive and well here at Pauley Pavilion tonight, and it continues this weekend as an early season showdown is here on Fox Sports Net. Two of college balls best when the Bruins of UCLA play host to the Spartans of Michigan State. I'll be here along with Steve Fiziak and Marcus Johnson, and it's going to be a memorable afternoon because the court will be named after the great coach John Wooden and his wife Nell, and that'll be 3.30 on Saturday here on Fox Sports Net. All sorts of substitutions. Whitehead is in, full of in for Santa Barbara. T.J. Cummings guarding the ball right now along with Ryan Hollins in for UCLA. Dribble drive by Joe C. The transfer from Oregon State Joe and he scores. And it's one thing about Joe C. A lot of people think he's just a spot up shooter but he can put the ball on the floor and finish. Nice job there going baseline. Not much to look at either. You think he's a wreck guy when he comes out there on the floor but he can play. Bozeman now out for Thompson. Corner of the key. Looking down low for T.J. Cummings. We'll see how game sharp T.J. is of course. Uh, this is his first, uh, and uh, he's very proud of making very hard to get back here on the floor. Hollins guns it down low, stolen away, good defense, taken there by Brandon Fulop, and you're looking at the Big West Conference Player of the Year last season. Brandon Fulop, Big West Conference Player of the Year. You know, he, he's a kind of a poor man's version of Don McClain, a good friend of his. They worked out together. Well, you mean he summer. shoots? He shoots every time he gets the ball. Yes, he does. No, yes, no. he does. He shoots a lot like Donnie Mag. But Those he, guys, they work together though, don't they? Yes, they do. He, he, they worked together for the last six years. And Don McClain here doing the radio is very proud of his young prodigy, all-time leading scorer at UCLA. Here's a, hit the uh, prodigy going baseline. Oh, wow. That, was, that would have been a Don McClain move there. Let's talk about Joe C for a minute. I told you not only can he, you know, move, but take a look at this. Very quick for, you know, going left right there. A lot of people think he's a spot-up shooter. He reminds me of Steve Kerr with the range that he has, how deep he can shoot the basketball. Bruins break the press, coming. Thompson slams. Good play by Morrison, too. Great job Good recognition. Seeing that, going the long pass, and you have a two-on-one situation. Four points for Dijon. Bounce down low. That's a pretty good uh, position for number 50, Brian Whitehead. You know, he, any offense that Whitehead gives you is going to be a bonus. Here's a case in point. Two years ago, he played 360 minutes, shot five times. Five times in all. That's a good sign right there. Get Dijon Thompson off early. Get him a nice slam dunk. Always try to get your score or layup early. Makes the jump shots a lot easier to make. Well, this is what's going to make or break TJ's here, his defense. And right there, he forces a turnover. Traveling violation on Casey Cook, number five for the Gauchos. Well, TJ did a nice job getting into Cook's body. Cook's very quick with the basketball and likes to get to the hole. And that time, he was able to body him off and get the turnover. We're tied at 11. 13-25 remaining. Cummings showing how out of the backcourt will be Cedric Bozeman, who has played many, many minutes. And Ben Howland says we got to give a rest to now and again. Here's the Bozeman out on top, orchestrating. He's become very patient. More than three points. Nice screen by TJ Cummings again, screening away from the ball. Morrison has made two wide open shots because of his teammates setting up, setting him up perfectly in the offense. So TJ's done the little things. He has an assist. He forced a turnover. And that time set a nice pick that you saw. Here's Ryan Hollins guarding outside. Mid-range jumper, and that's cash by Casey Cook, the junior from Sacramento. He's got half a dozen, and the Bruins' lead is now one. It's nice to see your game plan paying off. Bob Williams really worked with Casey Cook on squaring up the bigger guys, the seven-footers, knowing they're longer and shot blockers, and just taking the quick shot. So far, he's making his shots. Who's the open man? It's coming. Coming disdains the shot. Wanted to gun it to Morrison, who's now the cutter. Back out to Bozeman with 15 on the clock, and he'll reset the Bruins. We'll get back in their motion. Bozeman 
trying to work his way open. Pretty good defense by the Gauchos. Back to the open man. Baseline. Thompson. And he hits him. Boy, boy, patience, Jack. Nice patience by UCLA. The offense kind of bogged down. And a nice job by Bozeman there. They jumped out and double teamed him. He was able to find the wide open shooter, Dijon Thompson. Whenever you get double teamed, someone's got to be open. And he did a nice job finding him. And Dijon, as I said, after making the dunk, stepped right into it. Nothing but the bottom of the net. We've got more substitutions now for Santa Barbara. And uh, Bray Scultetti is in his sixth year in the program. Uh, didn't play high school basketball. Didn't play for the first two years. He was a recreation guy. And, boy, he has earned everything that uh, every minute that, that he is playing for this team. And, but uh, he petitioned the NCAA for another year, and they were shocked when they gave it to him. And he's just thrilled. He's about to graduate. It's going to be nothing but fun in basketball for that man. He got his sixth year, and he is excited, and he's going to be back in a minute, along with myself and Billy Mack. There is good, and there is evil. We all have within us the capacity for both. But in the end, a final question remains. Which side are you on? In an epic struggle between light and dark, choose your path and seal the fate of the galaxy. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, rated T for Teen. For saving the galaxy, there's no power greater than X. The people at Stag have turned this can into some sort of amazing miniature chili pot full of juicy beef and ripe red tomatoes. No, you don't understand. You're not listening. Listen, this is full of spices and seasonings, unlike you've ever tasted from a can. Get up now and go to the store and get this. I've got mine. Go get yours. Stag is the chili chili lovers love. You'll also love the chance to win big prizes at stagchili.com. You're watching Fox Sports Net, the only sports... The SoCal Sports Report. Hello, everybody. The nightly newscast dedicated to your hometown teams, scores, interviews, and highlights. Who cares? You care about the Rose Bowl. The Southern California Sports Report, nightly at 10. Where Southern California fans come first. Fox Sports Net. The Bruins in their last game against LMU, a pitiful three out of 20. Three out of 20 from beyond the arc. So far, Jack, three out of five. Yeah, three out of five from beyond the arc. They're knocking down three-pointers because they're getting open looks. They've had a couple of good things happen. We talked about this one here. Great job by Bozeman finding the open man to John Thompson when they had the double team. And then uh, Brian Morrison's been able to knock down a couple of wide open shots because his teammates away from the ball are doing a nice job freeing him up. Those are the threes overall. The Bruins 70%, 7 out of 10. UCSB, 6 out of 9. Cook is perfect 3 for 3. Dijon's perfect 3 for 3. And the Bruins coming off of an effort only shooting 31%. And they're working on Cecil Brown, the uh, sophomore who started the game in Mr. Instant Offense. So they want him back out on the floor quickly. Cecil Brown is not able to get back out there. UCSB is going to have a, a tough time scoring the basketball. They need a couple of people to step, step up and really play big tonight offensively. A taco. Still Teddy, and he is fouled underneath. Or another. Let's see. Okay, another turnover the other way. Seemed as though uh, TJ might have got a body on him. Seven turnovers already for Santa Barbara. So we uh, have 11 and a half to play here in the first half. Bruins up by four. Said Bozeman into the front court. It's really surprising. You know, Santa Barbara is not a team that's really usually turnover prone. They're just kind of falling victim to traveling and making the little errors. Coming first shot of the year. Gets in there. And TJ lets out a smile and, and a uh, big whoo. Exactly. Well, that's his shot that, you know, he loves that pick and pop right there. He's can knock down that 15 to 17 footer. Ben Howland told me today that TJ is the best 17 foot shooter on the team. That's quite a compliment. He's got an incredible repertoire offensively. That's not going to be a problem. A taco in and out, no rebound. Holland's had it momentarily. He and Scotetti go for it. Last touch by the Gauchos. And UCLA will have it out of bounds. Even though they didn't corral that rebound, UCLA's done a great job rebounding the basketball this year. One of the big differences for them so far. They're out rebounding their opponents by an average of 8.8 .8 rebounds per game. 
And that was a nice team rebound there by Ryan Holland. Only team to uh, rebound them, the Wildcats of Kentucky. The game spot Galley to the end and uh, nearly won at the end. Here's uh, Morrison, double penetration that kicks it back out to Bozeman. Boy, it's just a whole different look at said Bozeman this year. That air of confidence. Here's uh, Morrison across to Ariza. Dribble drive on the base. Scoop pass under to Holland. Wasn't expecting it. Should have been, though. Fumbled it. They're on the floor, and the Bruins will have it. I'm going to find out how UCLA plays against UCSB's zone. The Gauchos will drop back into a 2-3 zone. And one of the things you want to do is a nice job for penetration there. And I, and I told you how Trevor Reza makes players better. That was a nice shuffle pass. Holland should have handled that one. We'll see how the Gauchos rebound off of this zone, too, because with the longer athletes in UCLA, they definitely have to keep them off the glass. Shot by Bozeman is good. Center Bozeman, one of the things he does really well, when he doesn't have time to think, he's got a quick release and a good jump shot. When he has too much time to set up, sometimes it gets to him. And the shot clock winding down, he pulled up in rhythm, and a very nice shot by their set. Sometimes a little slow on the release, too. Here's Fuller, fires away without even thinking. Here's a rebound out of bounds and last touch by the Bruins. And the Gauchos will have another opportunity halfway through half number one. And the Bruins holding a 21-13 lead. And what about this? John Crispin is in the game. And I know John has been anxious for an opportunity. Ryan Walcott is unavailable with a bad back. So Crispin is in. And this is his chance to show Ben Hallen what he can do. I was giving Ryan Walcott a hard time today. He pulled his back muscle just reaching for a basketball like an old man. But Crispin's ready to step up. I talked to him before the game, and you know, he said all he wants is an opportunity to get out there and show what he can do. And he was working very hard early to see if he can get it going offensively. He's just got to let the game come to him. Come to him. Yeah, so don't force it. When you want to impress the coach, oh, Hollins swats it out of bounds, but count it on to the goaltending. Fulov will get credit for the goal. Nice job by Fulov. That's one of the things, notice the way he threw his butt. Don McClain. That's something he loves to do, that little runner that was, you know, that, that was not an out of control shot and a big hit going off here. Let him in scoring last year. Just a no-brainer turnover here on the weak side by UCLA. Something about passing the basketball from one guy to another, Billy, it just seems like uh, it's a tough, it's a tough thing to do today. Fay will come in when it's dead. To play 21 15 UCLA first half for Paulie Pavilion. Bill McDonald, Jack Haley as Big West beats Pac 10. Remember Saturday, Michigan State, and a week from then it'll be at Michigan. So a couple of tough games coming up for the Bruins. You know, after this game being tied at 9 to 9, UCLA's so defense has really TJ turned up. Since Ryan Hollins and TJ Cummings have come in the game, I've, I've noticed a, a big change. Michael Fay coming back into the game now, see if he can hold down the middle defensively. But UCLA's getting out pressuring the ball, not allowing them to move and contesting every shot. Well, it shows in the numbers, too. Opponents are shooting just 37% on the season against UCLA. C, 15 footer on the way, and that's music to the ears of Bob Williams and the Gauchos. Four points for Joe C. I mentioned he was the transfer from Oregon State. He basically switched places with Brandon Payton, who was here, and then went up there. And I'm talking about Gary's brother, who is uh, since out of uh, Oregon State. Back into that 2-3 zone. We'll see how UCLA moves the basketball. Another sloppy pass. This is amazing to me. The Bruins are turning the basketball over, making sloppy passes without even any pressure on the ball. Kind of a... Uh, Moving in half speed type of situation. I have to wake up. Last time I checked, we had played at least 12 minutes of the game. Bruins have made their last five field goal attempts. Crispin, two hand chest, down to Morrison, bounce pass underneath. Oh, good move by TJ to score. A great penetration. Ryan Morrison, when you play against the zone, put the ball on the floor, get into the teeth, make someone commit, and then a nice bounce pass to TJ Cummings, who is now two for two. Gauchos, 23 17, they're down. C. Outside jumper Josh Davis, he's got a three. Josh Davis, two threes in a row. How about Josh Davis? He missed all eight shots in the opener. Since then, though, he's shooting 45%, and that's his fifth three of the season. Here's Morrison into the front court, spinning. Man knocked down, underneath, shot it in the fan. That's two great possessions in a row by Morrison, driving and making something happen. Morrison, the playmaker, doing a great job, as I talked about, getting inside, spinning, drawing. Drawing the defender, see the way Cook had to step up, and then the nice shuffle pass inside. A great job 
penetration and forcing the defense to react to you. When you make players react to you, someone is going to be open. And Michael Fay, the recipient here, possibly a three-point You know what else I like is Fay. Uh, last year, I wouldn't call him lumbering, but his quickness uh, and his awareness is so much better this year. You saw the good feet and the soft hands so to get a pass from Morrison like that. And to finish with the end one and the foul. 26-20. See, once again, that's a good bounce pass, too. And a two-shot foul is going to be called on Thompson. And it will be free throw time for the Gauchos of Santa Barbara. And going to the free throw line will be Casey Cook. In inside the penetration again. And then this time, Jean just rotating a little bit too slow. Got his body into the shooter. And Cook drawing the foul. Casey Cook leads his team in rebounding. Very strong basketball player, a tremendous athlete. Been Very a, good athlete. He's been in a slump, though. Uh, he was uh, great versus Wise, 16 and 12, a double-double first of his career as T.J. Cummings will sit for UCLA. The other night against Pepperdine. .5 seconds on the clock. Casey Cook steps out and knocks down a three-pointer to win the game. And that's the important thing. He was just one out of five, though, from the field uh, the last two games. He made one, missed one. And the UCSB is one out of two on the line. Their first couple of free throws, he's got seven points. Crispin into the front court, giving a Bozeman a rest. Ariza in the game, has it high post, down to Morrison. Back over to Faye. Faye works it to Trevor Ariza, to Thompson. Good ball moved by the Bruins. Crispin with 14 on the shot clock. Looking down to Faye, can't get it to him. Kick it over to Thompson. Now the Bruins, Morrison, that's way outside. Side, long shot, long rebound, and Josh Davis will push. C to the open man, setting, firing, and not getting is Jacoby Ataco. Good weak side rebound by Crispin. Into the front court he comes, thwarts off one man, dribble drive, jump, and loses it. Taken, however, now by Cameron Getchy. We go the other way, thrown away by Joe C. Out of bounds, it'll be UCLA basketball. UCS. UCSB is usually a pretty good team in transition. A couple times down, down the floor, they either turn it over or miss the shot. We'll take a break. Morrison, a couple of great possessions in a row. And the finish there by Cummings. Back to Paulie in a moment. Just in time for the holidays. The Mercedes-Benz Winter Dream has begun with 2.9% APR financing for 36 months on C, E, M, and S-Class models. It's an opportunity unlike any other. But don't forget, the dream ends January 2nd. Samsung, it's extraordinary. Driven by DNIE technology, Samsung LCD TV, the power of LCD. Oh, I should have gotten fajitas. Ooh, fajitas. Taco Bell's fajita grilled stuffed burrito. It'll make you regret getting anything else. Should have gotten me fajitas. Fajitas, sizzling marinated carne asada steak and tasty fajita veggies, all wrapped in a flour tortilla and grilled to go. Ah, uh, should have gotten fajitas. Taco Bell's fajita grilled stuffed burrito. Nothing beats the sizzle when you think outside the bun. Welcome back. A little basketball for you here tonight on Fox Sports Net. The Bruins up 26-21. And coming up after the game, of course, it's the Southern California Sports Report. we got a half hour of nightly sports news completely dedicated to the home teams here in Southern California. We've got interviews and highlights here on Fox Sports Net. We'll have interviews from this game, the latest on the proposed deal, A-Rod to Boston, and the Clippers looking to make it a clean sweep at home. At Going home. up against the Milwaukee Bucks tonight. That's on the Southern Clint California Show. Sports Report right after this. Now, Ben Howell's done a great job on defense this year, but his team so far, the Bruins, have been struggling offensively, so he has to be excited. 11 of 15 from the field tonight. So far, the UCLA Bruins not Knocking it down offensively, defensively so far has been the focus for Ben Howland, but it's time to start working on a little offense, and so far it's paying off. And a little sloppy for both teams. Eight turnovers for Santa Barbara, six for UCLA, but it's important to score off the turnovers, and the Bruins have converted 
Santa Barbara's turnovers into 12 points. Thompson's jumper, no good, kept alive. Good play by Cummings. Trevor Ariza, can he hit? Does he have the soft touch? No. Bouncing around. TJ's battling for it, and it's out of bounds, and the count shows will happen. Nice job by TJ Cummings. A lot of activity there. Took the one out, and then on the second possession, had two or three touches on it. An active body down low. You know, he's got the senior leadership. That's what they're going to need. TJ plays with a, an intensity. The one thing about UCLA, they have got to turn up their intensity. And I think TJ realizes he's very fortunate to be playing basketball, too, and he's going to relish this opportunity as a senior, make the most out of his conference season as he worked hard to get back out on the floor. Here's Cameron Getchy, holds it high, knocked by Bozeman in front of us, sent out of bounds, and UCSB will control and the best on-ball defender, Cedric Bozeman, that time knocked it away. Well, Cedric Bozeman with that tall frame and those long arms, and he's just a tremendous on-the-ball defender. You know, we're going to have to see how he does against the small guards. Charles Brown uh, caused some problems the other day, LMU against UCLA. And we know the last couple of years, those small, quick guards have really been a bugaboo for UCLA. Anytime you have a quick guard out there, they can get penetration and get up and down the floor. UCLA has to better play better transition defense as a team. Here again, facing the zone. UCLA has to continue to get penetration. They can't just settle for perimeter shots. Got to get ball movement here. They're going with a three out, two in, and just kind of swinging the ball, trying to work the ball inside. TJ, three for three. TJ Cummings from the baseline. By the way, Bozeman has as many assists as the Santa Barbara team does. As, uh, he's in the game as he replaced Crispin a couple of moments ago. They each have five. Here's Joe C. Gets bumped there by Cummings, who's open. They can't find him. Good defense again by UCLA. Gaucho working to see with five and a half to play. First half, 28-21. Bruins. C backs up. Now out to Casey Cook. Casey Cook, pretty good defense too by Faye. A taco can't penetrate. They're going to settle for a long jumper by Davis. And they'll settle for that every time if he can shoot. I don't know about you, but did we say Josh Davis is not, not a three-point three shooter? We'll have to rethink that, huh? You know, I, I knew he was trying to prove his perimeter shooting. He's been working on it very diligently, but he is on fire. And I'll tell you what, they need it. They need his scoring, and so far he has just delivered. Perfect from three-point range. Three for three. Open. Ariza. Short. Rebound at Taco and Faye. David and Goliath. Out. Bozeman. Does a tight roll back in front of the expensive seats in row number one. And Bozeman now with a new shot clock will reset and orchestrate. 24 on the shot clock. Bozeman brings it out to Ariza. Slow start for Trevor. Goes out with that lung injury for uh, a couple of games. Here's Dejon Thompson. Here's your lineup of the future. I think this is the starting lineup of Ben Haddon at two, Bozeman at the one, Ariza at three, Faye at five, and then TJ Cummins at the power forward. Not a good shot for the Bruins as the clock winds down and forced up by Bozeman. He uh, didn't even hit rim. Coming up on the four minute mark, and Santa Barbara hanging in. They're down by only four. Here's, uh, by the way, they get Kansas in their next game. This is a daily double for them. Here's Cook, runs over a man, charging. Foul on Casey Cook. Turnover number 10, as that counts as one. Well. control foul on Casey Cook. Take a look at again, the penetration. Casey Cook, throwing his body in a great job, getting across the lane, getting your feet set, and taking the charge. You've got to sacrifice your body sometimes, but... Nice job forcing yet another turnover. You say 10 turnover, Ten Billy? Turnover ten turnovers. If, if you're Bob Williams, you turn the ball over 10 times. Your offensive firepower, Cecil, Cecil Brown, is out with an ankle injury. And you are four points out of this game. You've got to be happy. And Fulham, once again, uh, who has seen limited time in the last uh, half dozen games, so hasn't really gotten involved either. TJ Cummings just settling right in. And, uh, He's had a tremendous start to this basketball game. Eight points, eight of the 30 for UCLA. And has not missed a field goal. I'll tell you that. No, he's four for four. 15 to 17 foot jumper is his bread and butter. And you, you know, it's great to see a guy who has been sitting out it in practice, but has just shown the work ethic to stay sharp. You know, a lot of people aren't game ready. He's in game shape. He's ready to go. And he, you know, he, he's the best player on the floor right now. Tripped by Thompson and full of was trying to drive to the basket. And a foul on John Thompson. His second, his 16 foul, so the ball will be out of bounds, but we'll take a break first. 3.23 remaining. TJ is back, and with a vengeance, Morrison once again finding the open man, and TJ knocks it down.
Want to get away? Now you can. Fly Southwest Airlines from the LA area to Las Vegas, Oakland, or Phoenix for just $29 each way. You are now free to move about the country. Just got all my shopping done. Great. Do, 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 do. Jingle bells. No, no, it's good. I was in choir. The holidays are here. Dash through your list today at Circuit City. Save $20 on this Olympus 3.2 megapixel digital camera. Just $229.99 after mail-in rebate. Save on great gifts in every department. Circuit City, we're with you. Patience early, made a couple quick passes. There he gets a man-to-man -man here, penetrating. Nice finish, and a great pass from Morrison. And then the zone buster. They've gone to that two-three zone. He's finding the seams down the corner. TJ has not missed a shot. He's four for four from the floor. And one of the things that, that Ben Howland really wants to see, he wants six guys who can average double figures. And so far, he has five with TJ back. And he's well on his way to having that balanced scoring attack. And he has an assist and a rebound to go along with uh, that scoring total. Janelle Rubin has checked in for UCLA wearing number two. It's interesting to see if Janelle stays in the rotation. And he's worked hard, too, and he's a darn good shooter when he gets an opportunity. And he draws as a foul with his good defense. And, another foul and Brandon Fulop, who's a struggling again here tonight. Fulop's first, and that's team foul number four on the Gauchos, down by six. Morrison finds Cummings. Cummings double team backcourt. TJ goes to the dribble, loses it. Good defense. Take it away. Here comes Chrisman Oliver, the little guy from Los Angeles, the junior. Had a coming out party on a game we saw against Pepperdine up in Malibu, and he really came on and played great the last half of the season. Earned his minutes. He will be the uh, point guard. Averages 14 minutes this year for Coach Williams. A walk-on, former walk-on. And what he'll do, Jack, is he will be the one to drive into the paint. He will force the issue and find the open man or kick. Not much of an offensive weapon himself, but he'll find the open man. Underneath, fall away, off the glass, That's scored by Davis. Davis. So inside or outside, and there's your offense right now for the Gauchos. Josh Davis playing a spectacular game. He's doing it inside and outside. And with this lineup on the floor right now, you've got to think you're going to play through the Josh Davis. But Brandon Fulham has got to find a way to get his offensive team going. The Gauchos have to continue to generate some points. Bozeman, boy, what a matchup that is when you got a big guard like Bozeman who can use and work the little guy. You're talking about, what, Bozeman, six foot six? Going up against someone who's five foot eight. And, and, you know, Bozeman is so good in the low post. And here, following his shot, missed the first one, using his long arms to get to the offensive glass, and he gets to the free throw line. One of the things, of course, he has to improve on is his free throw shooting. Cedric Bozeman shooting 60% from the year, on the year. Which is uh, close to the team average right now for which UCLA, which is 64 eight. And back in is Cecil Brown, and we'll see how uh, he performs on that ankle that they've been working on. Hurt his left ankle, they taped it up for him and strapped it in there. You know, a lot of times with an ankle injury, though, it's not so much the same night or the same game, it's the next day it hurts. So he'll definitely be able to go north and south. The question is, can you go east or west? Can you push off on it? I'm making can a miss. Laterally? Scoltetti with the rebound. Oliver, guarded by Morrison on this end of the floor. There he is into the paint like we suspected, and he draws a foul. He's so quick. Almost gets lost among the trees. Let's go back to the initial injury to Cecil Brown. You can see Cecil Brown's ankle here. Watch this. Just, oh, just kind of rolls it right there. And, and the good news is it, it rolls outside, not inside. So, you know, those usually, it's more of a pain threshold type of situation. You can see the trainer taped him up and got him back on the floor. But when you're an explosive athlete, you know, Cecil Brown's not just a shooter. He, he likes to put the ball on the floor and put it down on either hand. He likes to drive to the hoop and try to get fouled. So your, your feet, your legs are very important. 
It's going to be interesting to see how, how well he can play in pain here and try to help his team continue to play. His team, the Gauchos, picked to win the Big West this year. Cummings has it knocked away by Scotetti after one make and a miss by Oliver. Morrison out of bounds, full court pressure, in there. Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara in that full court man-to-man, -man, and then they're going to trap on the basketball, try to force some turnovers. And here comes Bozeman flying out of the backcourt, gets up by Brown. He'll test Brown right now. You can bet that, but a zone defense, of course, being employed by Coach Williams and the Gauchos at the free throw line. Now under the play from Cummins. He fumbles, stumbles, loses. Here comes Oliver. It's all push with him. Oh, no look pass underneath. And <laughs> Brian Whitehead had it, and he's fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line. That's a good, good entry pass by Chris Oliver. I thought Chris Morales has done a great job in this game. He talked about this, and you talked about ability, the speed and the quickness. I mean, he's pushing the basketball. The Gauchos are a team that like to run. They, you know, they're very quick. They're good in the open floor. And Oliver has not, you know, he's coming with the second unit, and he's a tempo changer. When you can do that, you know, you make players play to you, don't play to them. And he's changed the tempo of the game. And the Gauchos are right in this. They make their free throws, and they're in this game. This is not a team that would normally run a lot, uh, but because they can go so deep, when they get a couple more players back, they will go 12 deep. So when you have limited minutes, Bob Williams says, play hard for me. No know your role, play your 10, 12, 14 minutes, and give it everything you got, and it'll help, and we can, we can press. Well, look at the guys on the bench. One thing Bob Williams said is, when I go to my bench, I don't lose that much. You know, all of my guys produce. I have faith in all of them, and he gives them that kind of confidence. And right now, you're seeing that. I mean, Cecil Brown goes down, and Josh Davis steps up. Morrison throws it high to coming, spins at the base, and he's fine. He'll go to the line. Good move by T.J. Cummings, and with a two-point lead, he can add to that. Very nice move by T.J. Cummings. He was, he was locked in here on the baseline, nowhere to go. You know, he's actually under the basket, and a great spin move. That's a pro move, and then smart jumping back into the defenders to try to draw the foul. He had nowhere to go, no chance of making a shot, so throw your body in there and get to the free throw line. T.J. Cummings is really playing well right now offensively. T.J. last year averaging about 10 and a half points, five rebounds, a versatile performer, and the Bruins in dire need of another big body. And uh, he came at just the right time. And there's three games, three games to get set for conference, which opens up the 2nd of January here. You and I will be here on a Fox telecast against uh, Oregon State. You've got Michigan State coming up, Michigan. And, you know, the Bruins are getting healthy at just the right time. And you get this kind of production out of T.J. Cummings, the, the Bruins are going to be deep. But those are like some guys they need right there. Dejon Thompson, got to get him into this game offensively. And Ryan Hollins is such an explosive shot blocker and defender. You know, it, it, I think Ben Howland's going to tighten up his rotation now, get it down to about top eight guys and stay with him. Well, he only played seven against Kentucky. Here's a block by Faye, taken by Postman. Second block by Faye. Here's Bozeman. Bozeman down the lane all the way. Has it ripped away by Brandon Fullerman out of bounds from behind. Nice job by Fuller there getting behind it. Take a look at Michael Faye. What, what you talked about, he's moving really well. Time that shot perfectly. You know, last year maybe not would have got off the ground as quick. He's in such good shape. He was able to get that block, his second block of the game. Morrison, who brings the guts and the energy to this team. Remember, he's a transfer from North Carolina, where he averaged seven points a couple of years ago. Bozeman, now to Janelle Rubin. They move it around, reversing the basketball to uh, Morrison. Bounce down low to Faye. Good feed underneath. Cummings laying it in. And the foul assist. Michael Faye and Cummings a chance for a three-point play. Great pass out of the post by Michael Fay, keeping the ball above his head, seeing the cutter on the baseline. Watch Michael Fay's going to get the ball, use his long seven-foot body, keep the ball inside, and then TJ using the rim on the weak side is a nice finish. This is a great pass from big man to big man. UCLA works a lot on the high-low pass, but that's just great ball movement. Give credit to TJ Cummings for moving off the post. If the big man gets the basketball, if you're cutting and you're moving and you're slashing, good things happen. A lot of triangle offense. You know, and the Lakers. When Shaq gets that ball, you see guys cutting all the time. Good things happen. Michael Faye, nice pass there. TJ, 12 points and half number one. It's a Bruins six-point lead. Tomorrow, the Kings, the Los Angeles Kings, return to the ice to take on Shane Doan and the Phoenix Coyotes. That's Gretzky's team. Coverage begins with Break the Ice, Jimmy Fox and Van O'Reilly right at seven, and then the play-by-play -play with Foxy and Hall of Famer Bob Miller. It's the Coyotes and the Kings, and the Kings are playing 
great hockey. In fact, take a look at the Pacific Division and who's on top of the Kings with 36 points. And the Ducks, you see them struggling along with the 29 right now. And uh, the Kings flying high, and they've had their injury woes. I think all the sports fans know that. Coming up at halftime, we will uh, take you to the Southern California Sports Report. Uh, we'll have uh, first half highlights and analysis. And Jack in the box. Right next to us, halftime stats. Big possession for both teams here. Santa Barbara obviously wanted to cut into this lead. UCLA wanting to build on it. Spolo, who's got to get going offensively. Bad ankle and not. Yeah, they, need need they need him to get some looks. Cummings is uh, on the floor now. Defensively for UCLA with six on the shot clock. Here's Fulo, and we talked and about it. And he uh, puts up a, a shot, a little off balance. He's got four, full court pressure. Bruins have to hustle here, too. Remember, 15 now in the half. Shot clock has been put to bed. Cummings has scored eight of his last nine, out of the eight of the last nine Bruin points as uh, they look to him. Bozeman with six, with five, with four. Bozeman knocks down and charges. And Not with a three and a half, Gauchos might get a look here. That's when I told you, it's a big possession. You have a six-point game cut to four, then an offensive foul and a turnover. The Gauchos have a chance to score again here. So where UCLA has to get much tougher mentally. Learn how to dominate the game, control your opponent. Timeout UCLA. Timeout UCLA, who wants to think things over defensively with 3.7 and a four-point lead, 35 to 31. Smart timeout by Ben Howland here, understanding that this is a big possession. He doesn't want to see the Gauchos put another uh, basket on the board, and he's going to get his defense set, let them know what play they think they're going to run. In this situation, they usually try to come down and run some type of a quick hitting pick and roll. Get the ball. I'm trying to get the ball to Josh Davis as hot as he is. See if he can make a shot. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be surprised to see him put Joe C back here in the game. See if you can get him a shot. Get your shooters in the game. Go small. Just try to get a quick shot up there. Remember, even even uh, Casey Cook has long range capabilities. The ball will be taken out of bounds by Cameron Getchy. They've got to get it quickly into the front court. It's Third Chrisman up. Oliver with one baseline pull up. No, no. Not count even if it goes down as the shot was after the pleasure. But I'll tell you what, Oliver is quick as it took him about two and a half seconds to go from one end of the floor to the other. We've reached half time. It's been Howland and the troops go to the locker room at the half. The Bruins on top, 35 to 31. We'll take a break on the other side of this timeout. We'll take it to Staples Center and the Southern California Sports Report. I remember it. The game against West. Two seconds left. You put up a Hail Mary. I make the catch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wow. Talk all you want this holiday. Get unlimited nationwide SBC long distance calling for just $20 a month guaranteed. One more way, we bring it all home. A crash course in auto insurance. Cover your assets. Think you've got enough coverage to protect what you have? Wrong. Huh? Suppose you get in an accident. If you don't have enough coverage, you could be seriously exposed. Oh. Go to 21st.com. You'll get a quote that could save you hundreds, and our coverage calculator will help you figure out how much coverage you may need. It's the way to make sure your assets are covered. Get more. More coverage, more service, more savings. Call 21st Century Insurance Company at 1-800-211-SAVE. On the next Beyond the Glory... Nick Van Exel had NBA talent, but also a chip on his shoulder. He came in the league really with something to prove. And was determined to establish himself as one of the league's best players. He'll shoot you in or he'll shoot you out. He's not going to be a wallflower. But his legendary temper threatened to end his career. I paid for it. I'm probably still paying for that right now. Nick Van Exel, Beyond the Glory, Sunday at 9 on Fox Sports Net 2. Football players, sometimes I worry about them. It's such a tough game with all the hits they have to take week after week. What if you pull a groin? You could miss a few games. NASCAR returns to Fox. 
the best damn sports show, period. Weeknights on Fox Sports Net. Hello, everybody. I'm Van Earl Wright inside our studios at the Southern California Sports Report right here at Staples Center. We will get you back out to Pauley Pavilion in a moment, but first we want to show you some other college basketball action, and we begin with Ben Allen's former team. Pitt, ranked number 18, hosting Chicago State. That is Jamie Dixon, Ben Allen's successor as head coach for the Panthers. Mark McCarroll finishing some nice ball movement for the Panthers. They just dominated Chicago State all night long. They ended up winning by 28-79 to 51. The Panthers are ranked 18th in the country. Duke ranked number three in the country, hosting the Princeton Tigers and Princeton hanging tough. Mike Stevens with the finish. A one point, a four point game, and then it was a six point game, but in the end, it was an 18 point margin of victory for the Blue Devils. They take care of the Princeton Tigers at Cameron Indoor Stadium. That guy's last name is Dang. Oh, Dang, he made another hoop. Dang. NFL news where the Giants began the season thinking Super Bowl and they will end it by looking for a new head coach. Today, New York announced that Fossil will be done. Jim Fossil will be done as head coach after the final two games. All right, that'll do it for now, but be sure to join us for the Southern California Sports Report. Carolyn Hughes and special guest, baseball analyst Kevin Kennedy to break down the blockbuster trade that has yet to become official. And we'll also have reaction from the UCLA locker room and show you what the Clippers did against the Bucks as the Clips go for four in a row. After the timeout, back out to Billy Mack and Jack Haley for the second half of UCSB, UCLA. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Missing it would definitely spoil the surprise. See your Lexus dealer. Welcome to Lee Adams Discount Sales. We have the largest selection of big screens and entertainment centers on the planet. We've been serving the Inland Empire for over 20 years. You'll find everything for your home video and audio needs. Hang on the wall, flat panel TVs, indoor or outdoor speakers, entertainment centers, big screen TVs, and much, much more. So come into our new home theater. And we want to thank you for the opportunity to serve you. The question she had was a universal one. What do men want? Well, there are a few essentials that every man's wardrobe should have, from classic choices to more contemporary looks. Because what men want, well, that's complicated. But what they need, now that we know something about. Happy holidays from the men's warehouse. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. Nothing makes a sandwich like a Pepsi. It's the cola. Oh, I should have gotten fajitas. Ooh, fajitas. Taco Bell's fajita grilled stuffed burrito. Mm. It'll make you regret getting anything else. Mm. Oh, you should have gotten fajitas. Sizzling marinated carne asada steak and tasty fajita veggies, all wrapped in a flour tortilla and grilled to go. Oh. I should have gotten fajitas. Taco Bell's fajita grilled stuffed burrito. Nothing beats the sizzle when you think outside the bun. Fox Sports Net 2 presents UCLA Basketball, brought to you by your Lexus dealers. The Lexus December to Remember sales event, now through January the 2nd. By Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box now accepts MasterCard and Visa at most restaurants. And by the all-new 2004 Ford F-150. Halftime on the campus of UCLA. We're back inside Pauley Pavilion Live, where the Bruins hold a four-point advantage over the Gauchos of 
UCSB. And Lexus brings us the Bruin upcoming schedule. And remember, Saturday, if you have a ticket, you're a lucky one. If you can get one, please be here because they will name the court after the legendary John Wooden and his wife, Nell. Tip-off is at 3.30. The uh, program uh, for naming the court begins at 3. Then the big roadie at Michigan. And then the conference season begins, highlighted by the Oregons and the Washingtons. Arizona will be here on the 17th of January. And then Stanford, who's playing great basketball, too. They've got a, a date with Gonzaga this week, and that should be an interesting matchup, too. That's uh, some games to look forward to for the Bruins of UCLA, our Lexus upcoming schedule. Morrison and the Bruins spin an addition for a four-point lead. When we come back, Jack will rejoin me. chosen one asked the soul of the game for court vision. And it was granted to him. Can I get a layup? Layup! Oh, I feel the soul of the game coming over me. Hey, DVDs, what did you get? CDs. Video games. Oh, I wanted cool. that one, too. That's so such great. a good one. <clears throat> Store opens in 20 minutes, people. Focus. Right. Focus. 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 All the new stuff. Stop by Circuit City every Tuesday and save on the hottest new releases, like Sea Biscuit and Freaky Friday, just $15.99 each. Save on great gifts and dash through your list today at Circuit City. We're with you. Totally Football is your inside source for gridiron news. Jay, you were actually the one who called Keyshawn to tell him he was being deactivated. Insider Jay Glazer breaks the story before anyone else. I spoke to some team officials today, and they do think that there's a good chance he can get a year suspension. Inside the huddle, behind the scenes, and breaking news. Test positive for THG. You're going to have a four-game ban. Totally Football, weeknights on Fox Sports Net. You're watching Fox Sports Net, the only sports network that puts Southern California fans first. The SoCal Sports Report. Hello, everybody. The nightly newscast dedicated to your hometown teams, scores, interviews, and highlights. Who cares? I you care about hey. the Rose Bowl. The Southern California Sports Report, nightly at 10. Your Southern California fans come first. Fox Sports Net. Happy holidays from the LA Lakers and Fox Sports Net. Are you sure about this? So this is that hill descent control feature. Right. <laughs> the acclaimed Freelanders with hill descent and four-wheel traction control standard. So what'd you think? Piece of kick. Test one and yourself on the rock course at your Land Rover Center. Land Rover, the most well-traveled vehicles on Earth. Special lease and finance rates available. Available for the first time, the Secret in Roy Collection. The most famous live performers in the world have approved the release of these movies and rare footage from their private collection. Over 25 million people have been thrilled by their amazing Las Vegas spectacle. Now you can experience Siegfried and Roy in your own home. Call now and get four signed photographs from Siegfried and Roy's personal collection. Bring the magical Las Vegas experience to your home. Credit card, check or money order. Call now. The campus of UCLA in Westwood, California. We're pleased to be bringing you College of Basketball tonight live. Bill McDonald along with Jack Haley. It is halftime and the Bruins are up on the Gauchos of Santa Barbara and 
Happy holidays to everybody. Now let's get to business and talk about the first half of action. And you know, when we look at the highlights, we need to go back to finishing school because we said Josh Davis couldn't score from the outside. Boy, did he prove us wrong. Well, you know, Cecil Brown, their leading scorer, got hurt early, and Josh Davis just stepped up. He was three for three from behind the arc, paced him, scored 11 points here, not just two from behind the arc, but penetration had 11 points and really kept them in this ball game. Did a great job. And on the other end of the floor, TJ Cummings from the moment when he stepped on the floor, the Bruins started clicking offensively. He had 12 points, and he did it all over the floor, knocking down shots inside, outside, working the game there with, with Michael Fay. did a great job. Take us inside the numbers, the jack-in-the-box stats. Well, everybody talks about defense at UCLA, but the Gaucho shoots 63%. UCLA have got to do a better job defensively. The number that jumps out at me, 20 turnovers between these two teams. Sloppy, sloppy basketball. Both these two teams got to take care of the ball, play a little bit better defense. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back after this, we're going to settle in and get ready for half number two. And right now, the Bruins holding a slim lead over the Gauchos of UCSB. Do not go anywhere. We'll see you later. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Missing it would definitely spoil the surprise. See your Lexus dealer. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, girl! <laughs> and then what? <laughs> I remember it. The game against West. Two seconds left, you put up a Hail Mary, I make the catch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wow. Talk all you want this holiday. Get unlimited nationwide SBC long distance calling for just $20 a month guaranteed. One more way, we bring it all home. A crash course in auto insurance. Cover your assets. Think you've got enough coverage to protect what you have? Wrong. Huh? Suppose you get in an accident. If you don't have enough coverage, you could be seriously exposed. Oh. Go to 21st.com. You'll get a quote that could save you hundreds, and our coverage calculator will help you figure out how much coverage you may need. It's the way to make sure your assets are covered. Get more. More coverage, more service, more savings. Call 21st Century Insurance Company at 1-800-211-SAVE. The people at Stag have turned this can into some sort of amazing miniature chili pot full of juicy beef and ripe red tomatoes. No, you don't understand. You're not listening. Listen, this is full of spices and seasonings, unlike you've ever tasted from a can. Get up now and go to the store and get this. I've got mine. Go get yours. Stag is the chili chili lovers love. You'll also love the chance to win big prizes at stagchili.com. Michigan State looks to fight their way back to the top. But UCLA knows a win here would begin the quest to restore their winning tradition. Saturday on Fox Sports Net. Weeknights, it's a who's who on the best damn sports show, period. The Rock, Hammer, and he's up, Chris Rock. You just move your hips in a circle. That is much CT busy right there. Weeknights on Fox Sports Net. Bill McDonald and Jack Haley back getting uh, ready to start the second half with the, the Bruins on top, 35 to 31. Doug Mann, our statistician, alongside. And on the other side, and busy as always accommodating the many, many fans, is John Wooden. And Saturday, again, will be a very special day here at Pauley Pavilion at 3 o'clock, a ceremony to name this court at Pauley Pavilion after that man right there, John Wooden, and his late wife, Nell. Uh, who is uh, still uh, so close to his heart. And uh, this place will be filled, and so many of his former players are coming back. They will have a luncheon. They will have a ceremony. Uh, I understand Bill Walton will be here, Kareem, so many players. In fact, Marcus Johnson uh, is here tonight. He'll be a part of the broadcast team. I'm fortunate enough to be here along with Steve Fizyuk. And that man right there, Marcus, whose son, Josiah, is on the team and on the roster now for the Bruins and Ben Howard. And I'll tell you what, no one deserves it more than Coach Wooden and his beautiful wife, Nell. Coach Wooden, one of the all-time great teachers, one of my all-time great idols. It's going to be fun here Saturday. If you can't make it, you don't have a ticket, uh, we'll see you at 3.30 here on Fox Sports Net. Start of the second half, and uh, Santa Barbara without one of their top guns in for most of the half, and Brandon Fuller just getting back into game shape, down by only four. 
Here's a long jumper on the way by Brown as he tries to get clicking early. Rebound underneath by Cook, and they'll restart with Josh Davis. Ben Howland talked to his team at halftime about really ball pressure, get a hand up, don't let him score so easily. And there you saw it, getting a hand up, Trevor Ariza, getting his hand in the passing lane and getting a steal. Ariza, who came back into the lineup and played 32 minutes. You know, the original plan was to get him back the other night, play maybe 12, 13, 14 minutes. But as Coach Allen says, I'm just more comfortable with him on the floor than on the bench. He trusts him that much as a true freshman. Well, he, does, he does a lot of things really well. You know, he, he's very comfortable with the basketball, very good within the offense. He doesn't make mistakes, and Ben Howland sees comfort in that. Six on the shot clock. Bozeman goes it under the fag, couldn't get his hands on it. Taken away by Getchy. Cameron then loses it back. And it's taken by Dejon Thompson to Morrison. Dribble drive. Oh, great pass to Ray, who dunks it home. Well, Brian Wilson's done a great job in this game in penetrating, drawing defenders, and dishing the basketball. Seven for the big guy, Michael Fay from Olympia, Washington, and the Bruins. Out of the gate first here at half number two. Good move by Cook to score. Boy, right around Fay like he's bolted to the floor. Michael Fay, the coaching staff, can't be happy with that. You've got to read your scouting report. Casey Cook loves to pump fake the basketball. Stay down. Don't fall for that first pump fake, especially when you've got him beat by two or three inches. Yeah, Casey had offseason knee problems, which uh, limited his work in the offseason, but he's been getting much more comfortable going to the hole, as is that guy right there. Faye doesn't get the soft touch off the pass from Bozeman, and Santa Barbara can cut into this lead two minutes in to half number two. They have never beat UCLA in this long series. 18-0 UCLA, and right now it's a one-point game after the three-point jumper by Cameron Getchy. Cameron Getchy stepping up and knocking down the shot, recognizing that they're not going to step out and playing him out there and just making a nice, fluid motion. Getchy had 17 in the route of USD the other night in only 20 minutes. I should say that's efficiency. He was originally signed by Utah at tendonitis in the knee, then signed on with the JC, and here he is. And fouled going to the basket is Trevor Ariza. Good move by Trevor Ariza there. Nice so sweeping move stepping through, but Getchy you talked about him having 17 the other night. Notice no one stepping out and contesting the shot. He just kind of trailed into that in their early motion offense, in their transition offense, I mean, I'm sorry, and just walked right in and knocked that down, recognizing that Michael Fay was down low, protecting the paint. He was able to knock down that three-pointer. Ariza's miss means UCLA is four out of seven from the line. Not a whole lot of free throw shot in this one. 13 total, seven for the Bruins, six for Santa Barbara. Ariza makes one out of two. Three on the evening. Into the front court. Jacoby Ataco. Great defensive player. In fact, he was the conference defensive player of the year last season. So you can tell this team is loaded uh, for Barron. The big west. Weeks out rebound taken by Dijon. Now Cedric Bozeman behind the floor. Boy, that's his great vision. Crossover this time. Now Ced will bring it back out. If it's not there, be patient. And that's exactly what he was. UCLA needs to show patience. They're turning the basketball over too many times. And now they've got to execute. You, know, you, you, you have to be able to change speeds offensively. Run hard, set a pick, slow down, then explode. Trevor Reza, show out his shot. No, and Michael Fay, though, good hustle to track it down in a fresh shot clock. And Bozeman out on top. He's being battled there by a Cecil Brown. This is what happened to, to UCLA against Loyola Marymount. They just kind of got complacent with the basketball and, and didn't really execute. And you can see they just got kind of slow right there. Cedric Bozeman, that, that's two or three really nice passes. Put some heat on that. He has made. I mean, the last one Michael Fay dropped. But that's, this is great floor vision. Take a look at that from the top of the He just threaded the needle there between two or three players. Great hands by Ariza. Been able to handle that pass and draw the foul. But said Bozeman Bozeman is doing a nice job of, of making guys better, getting them easy shots, getting them to the free throw line. There's two or three really Ryan, nice passes Ryan, he's made in this game. You said a key thing there, making other players better. That's what makes great well, players in any level of basketball. One of the things I think the Bruins really lack is a definitive player. I mean, whose team is this? You know, I mean, it, it, who is the man on this team? Is it Dijon Thompson? Do they have to have is, a man on well, this team? Yes, you do. You have to have a definitive floor leader. And I talked to Seth Bozeman, he wants to be that guy. Maybe not a score, but he wants to be the definitive floor leader, setting players up, getting them the basketball, and making decisions. And you have to have that. I did address that question to Coach Howland uh, earlier in the week. I said, do you have a crunch time player? And he mentioned 
Cedric Bozeman. He says, they're not necessarily going to take the last shot like he did the other day, but I like the ball in his hands at the end of the game. You have to have it. I, you know, you, you can have a head coach, but as a player, there always has to be someone who's your defender for a leader. Is it going to be T.J. Cummings? Is he going to emerge as your offensive go-to guy? Is it going to be DeJon Thompson? Is it going to be Trevor Reza? Is it going to be Bozeman? You don't want to have too many indecisions, you know, get that kind of indecision. Morrison and Whitehead battle. Morrison gave away a few inches and out of bounds, and the Gauchos will have it, uh, trailing by three. And the job will be awarded to Cecil Brown to take it out of bounds. You know, and he probably, Cecil, has the best grasp of what Bob Williams wants to do on both ends of the floor. You want to talk about trust in a player, and uh, he has uh, given that into Cecil Brown. Well, you know, one of the things that, that Bob Williams told me about Cecil Brown, when he recruits players, he looks for three things. Versatility, unselfishness, and a pure scorer. And that is exactly how I would describe Cecil Brown. Bozeman front court. Looked uh, possibly if uh, Thompson was going to cut. Instead, he kicks it. Thompson himself back out to Ariza. Had a notion, had a thought. Instead, wisely back to Bozeman, who's backing up in 20 on the shot clock. We're four and a half in to half number two, and the Bruins lead by three. Underneath, under the face, score. That's good position by Faith. I mean, you've got to time it in there. You can't just set up a camp. When you're a big guy, he's got to shuttle in, and Ariza found him at the perfect time. A really nice pass by Trevor Ariza. One of the things we talked about the outset is he's a playmaker he loves to pass the basketball nine for Faye quick shot Good defense yeah I, the reason might have got a hand on it Thompson kind of a goes as a taco goes up he put Thompson in the air and it'll be a two shot opportunity for number five the senior from Santa Monica Jacoby the taco not a smart foul there by Dijon he, he out you know so much bigger and longer than a, a, a taco could have stayed down but Went for the pump fake. Birds of a feather flock together. He pump fake and he jumped right out of the nest. Three fouls now for Thompson. So TJ Cummings will come in after this first free throw and the miss by Ataco. Now you were talking about Coach Williams in his sixth year here. He took over after 16 seasons of Jerry Pimp. It's interesting. Ben Howland was up for the job at, uh, at that time and it kind of worked out that he went to Pitt instead and and wound up here, but the one thing that characterizes a Williams team, they always get better as the season progresses, and that is a sign of a good coach. One of the things Bob Williams does every single practice, 30 minutes of fundamentals. 30 minutes of fundamentals prior to, to even going up and down, and he teaches all year long. A nice penetration by Trevor Reza. Michael Fay with the good hands and the strong finish. UCLA with a four-point lead. We'll be back. Just in time for the holidays, the Mercedes-Benz Winter Dream has begun with 2.9% APR financing for 36 months on C, E, M, and S-Class models. It's an opportunity unlike any other. But don't forget, the dream ends January 2nd. Times optical zoom. It downloads up to 7,500 songs. Oh. Takes digital photos too. <sighs> now at Good Guys, pay no interest until 2007. That's 37 months. Good Guys here to help. collection. Oh. Go ahead, yeah. Bill. You, you no, talk. No, 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 the no, Bruin no. Bear, it's all you. You were thinking. You were thinking up a good it's line. It's all you. Best all-time records. There you uh, go. The distinction, the uh, doormat, the <laughs> if you will, for the Bruins over the years, the Gauchos of UCSB. They last met a couple of years ago, pretty close game then in November of 2000, 83-77. 
So this would be a historic evening if the Gauchos could win, and they're only down by four, five minutes into the second half. They believe they can win, and that's a big difference. They've kept, they, they, they walked in here this morning for a shoot around, very confident. They've won three games in a row, and they believe they can win this game. Difference this year and last year, though, for the opponent, UCLA, they're winning these, these games, albeit they're close, but they're the close. games that they were losing the last couple of years are finding ways to win. The other night in overtime against LMU, against the Riverside in the game that we were at against Vermont. Knocked out of bounds. You know, like, like Vermont, you always seem to have that one player who comes into Pauley Pavilion and just has a great game tonight. Josh Davis knocking down three-pointers, keeping his team in it. But that's what you need. You know, you, if you're going to knock off a team like UCLA, you guys have to play really well. They've got to be on their A game. And UC, UCSB right now is playing good basketball. Hosman, other side. Cross the court. Ariza goes uh, back door. Missed. Josie shuttles it up ahead. Jacoby Ataka right up. Kind of goes. It doesn't go. Slam after the fact. Will not count. Bozeman wants to travel. I don't think he's going to get it. It should be two free throws. Good, transition. Good transition offense here. See with the shuffle pass. And then you see the way he just throwing his body in there, trying to draw the foul. Jacoby Otako get to the free throw line. I thought he could have focused a little more, made that shot. I mean, there wasn't really much contact. He should have kept his eye on the rim. Sometimes you just try to try to draw a foul and bail out. And see, he missed the free throw. Something to watch now, said Bozeman with three personal fouls and still 14 and a half remaining. And Crispin did get a couple of minutes in half number one. And Walcott, the other point, not available. Taco free throw is good. You just get the sense in this game that, that one of these teams is going to get hot here and get on a little roll. You know, both of them just kind of exchanging baskets. Sooner or later, you know, kind of like when T.J. Cummings came in and gave the Bruins a spark, somebody's going to get the team going and they're, they're going to get a little offensive spurt here. It's going to separate this game. Bozeman, 16 and 10 against LMU. Averages six assists a game. Leaves it for Morrison, now to Ariza. Back to the quarterback. Bozeman, still time. Morrison, dribble drive Morrison. at the base. Coming through his fingertips to Ariza. The garbage is an air ball. Oh, and yes. it's taken now by Brian Whitehead. It was a garbage shot, but a great job by Morrison. Oh, deep. Extremely deep. Oh, Joe C. I, it, it's taken a little while for me to see it. But Joe C., I told you, was going to pull up from anywhere. That was five feet behind the line. Steve Kerr-esque. Reggie Miller-esque. And the Gaucho. We knew somebody was going behind the bench. Yeah. We're tied at 41, by the way. And it's a tempo change of Josie just coming up, pulling up in rhythm, and he has the total green light. He is the best shooter on the floor in this gym, period. And when you have that kind of range, you have a green light, and Bob Williams has faith in him. That's a big basket. Well, it's consistency with Josie. You know what you're going to get. He has three threes in each of the last three games and uh, he's got that range he, he gets his looks and he knocks him down UCSB last led at 11 to 9 with 15 minutes to go in the first half we're tied at 41 they can get the lead again and that ever-present number 11 has the basketball to Whitehead little jump hook it's good and the couch shows lead it 43 41 with 13 minutes to go in the game I felt the momentum change and it, and it has happened the Gauchos now pumping their fish jumping up and down their fans are standing the UCLA fans feel kind of flat in this building for UCLA has to come out of halftime with more energy and they didn't break it so far tonight timeout Bruins of UCLA Joe C leading the charge Whitehead will finish and the Gauchos lead What if it had DVD navigation and laser-assisted cruise control? What if it had a rear-view monitor to see what lies behind? And one of the most advanced all-wheel drive systems in the world to propel you ahead? What if has become what is? The FX from Infinity. For over 50 years, Red Skelton delighted audiences unlike any other comic in TV history. Now, for the first time, the Red Skelton Estate has released the greatest moments of Red's years on NBC in this special collector set of America's favorite showmen. The best of Red Skelton in living color. Enjoy hours of true family entertainment, including Red's famous characters and Red's famous friends, with all the hilarious flubs and bloopers included.
The best of Red Skelton can be yours through this exclusive TV offer for only two easy payments of $19.99. Call now and Red's family will include the legendary Red Skelton Holiday Special absolutely free. That's four full hours of Red Skelton's finest moments on television for only two easy payments of $19.99. We'll even include a free color lithograph of Red with your order. So don't miss out on the fun. Pick up the phone and order the best of Red Skelton in living color, available in VHS or DVD. Call now. We will document the Gaucho run in a moment, but first of all, Joe C. has really been an energizer. Joe C. has done a couple of things. First, he's made the right pass. That went into Whitehead there. He knocked down the three-pointer. He pushed the basketball in transition. Got it over to a, a taco who got him to the free-throw line. UCSB, as you see, has gone on a 6-0 run. And UCLA's defense not getting it done. The Gauchos are shooting 57% from the field. That's just way too easy. Bruins. Hollins is in the game. So we'll see if a Hollins, who runs the floor very well and also plays great defense, he's the shot blocker for UCLA. Now, a Hollins played on that U.S. Junior World Team, gave him a world of experience, if you will. And, uh, he hasn't seen as much time as Faye, but now he's got an opportunity here. Cummings, who had a fabulous first half in his first game back. After becoming academically eligible, now he fumbles. He was triple team, surrounded, and stripped of the basketball. 12th turnover by UCLA. Brandon Fuller. UCSB in position to try to break that long-time losing streak. Now they're 50% from beyond the arc. This is a mid-range jumper on the way. Good, and a good pass by C again. Joe C doing it again. And Getchy finishes for his fourth and fifth point. You know, this is gut check time for UCLA. UCLA has got to start playing with a sense of urgency. I was talking to Don McClain before the game, and this team lacks a cockiness. Right now, Lieutenant Barber wants it more. I hate to interrupt, but that's exactly They're on the floor. Three of them on the floor. Blocked by Hollins. We talked about his prowess in that department, and it paid off for the Bruins, and we go the other end. Will the tempo perhaps pick up? Bozeman throws it away. He wants a tip, and he gets it. A tip by a taco out on top. Just got a fingernail on it. And now Faye and Ariza will hustle back in for UCLA. And hustle is the key. UCLA needs to change the tempo. Ben Allen can't be happy right now. He wants to try to light a fire under these UCLA Bruins. It's time to play with some toughness. I'll let you finish that point when we come back after this. Getchy, though, knocks down the field goal, and they're loving it in Isla Vista. Oh, we should have gotten fajitas. Ooh, fajitas. Taco Bell's Fajita Grill Stuffed Burrito. It'll make you regret getting anything else. She's got me fajitas. Fajitas? Sizzling marinated carne asada steak and tasty fajita veggies, all wrapped in a flour tortilla and grilled to go. Ah, uh, I should have gotten fajitas. Taco Bell's Fajita Grill Stuffed Burrito. Nothing beats the sizzle when you think outside the bun. It's a Fox NFL Saturday special. The electrifying Michael Vick has returned and sparks the Falcons' offensive attack. But the defending champs have what it takes to shut down the Phenom and must win to keep their postseason hopes alive. Then on Sunday, the Eagles have locked up a playoff berth and now eye home field advantage. But the Niners are primed to knock off the NFC's top team. The Falcons take on the Bucks Saturday, followed by a Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader this weekend. On the next Beyond the Glory, Nick Van Exel had NBA talent, but also a chip on his shoulder. He came in the league really with something to prove. And was determined to establish himself as one of the league's best players. He'll shoot you in or he'll shoot you out. He's not going to be a wallflower. But his legendary temper threatened to end his career. No, I paid for it. I'm probably still paying for that right now. Nick Van Exel, Beyond the Glory, Sunday at 9 on Fox Sports Net 2. Happy holidays from the LA Lakers and Fox Sports Net. Hopefully the students that are here will be in a good mood when this is all said and done. Right now, though, the Gauchos on top by four. Saturday, it's a Fox special. Beginning with America's favorite pregame show is J.B. Terry, Howie and Jimmy. Get you ready for kickoff. Then, Michael Vick. Remember, Dan Reeves is out, but Michael Vick leads the Falcons against Warren Sapp and the Bucks in a showdown between Bitter. I mean, bitter NFC South rivals. Coverage begins Saturday at 9.30. It's the NFL. And the biggest stories are in the NFC, and the NFC, of course, is on Fox.
Bruins inbound. Thompson bows them. At just under 12 minutes to play, and the Bruins are facing a four-point deficit. And he had a big lead and blew it the other night. Here they're going to have to come from behind, falling down, getting hit. Oh! It's Trevor Ariza on the follow slam. It's a big play for UCLA. Last three times down the floor, they have turned the basketball over. Trevor Ariza with a big basket there. It's gut check time for UCLA. Let's see how they respond. Let's see how their defensive intensity picks up. Bozeman. Thompson. He's the one also has to work a lot on defense. Full of outside, no, just didn't have his legs the other night. You know, the legs are so important when you want to hit outside jumpers, and that's a big part of Fulham's game. Nice job by Cameron Getchy, throwing his body around inside, keeping that rebound alive. Whitehead down low. Reverse slap is good. Ooh, a pro move by Whitehead all the way to the weak side. Beat both seven footers. Any offense, any offense you get from the senior from Mount Vernon, Washington, is a bonus. He's got six tonight. Well, here's where UCLA now has to be able to rise to the kid. They have to be sharp within the offense. They have to execute. This is what I meant by who is your go-to guy when you need a hoop, when you have to score, who are you playing through? Cummings, who was the man in the first half, still have well over 10 minutes to play in the game. Here's Bozeman, alley -oop. no, taken by Cummings. He had it momentarily. Is he going to get it back? They will. UCLA, as we talked about, has been doing a nice job rebounding the basketball so far this year. Good offensive rebound by Michael Fay. Thompson, if there's a knock on Dijon, we think he should shoot more than he does. He's Absolutely. got he's got so much offense in his game, sometimes we don't think he shoots enough. Underneath Cummings is fouled, and he'll go to the line as Whitehead just hammered him off the assist from Ariza out on top. Trevor Ariza, a great passer and there. Watch his following this rebound, an offensive rebound, ball. following it through. A nice dunk, and then the second time down, then Whitehead, the spin, the reverse, using the basket off the glass. Pass. That's just a tough shot. Nice job by Whitehead getting production there by, by two players who uh, need to step it up right now. Trevor Reza really has made some good passes in this game so far. TJ Cummings, Bruins 6 out of 10 from the free throw line. TJ, the son of Terry. Great NBA star, knocks it down. Three-point game. That's his first point in the second half after 12 and half number one. UCLA has really improved this year defensively, holding opponents to 37% from the floor, but so far, the Gaucho shooting almost 60%. UCLA has got to turn it up defensively, and they got to just do it on the ball. They've got to start playing better team defense. They're getting beat on the weak side. The shooting is improved for UCSB. They shot just 36% their first two games of the year. Since then, almost 47% from the field. Here's Cook. He's going to be short. He's going to get his own rebound. Though. He knew it. Offensive so, rebound and kill on UCLA. Second chance for uh, Santa Barbara. Give Cook credit. He knew when it left his hand it was going to miss it. He immediately went to an open spot on the floor to get the rebound. Joe C. Brandon Fulop double team. Cook was open for a moment. Fulop down the middle he goes. No. Whitehead Fay battle and again. Oh, look out. Trevor Reza. A foul out near the uh, timeline. And another offensive rebound for UCSB. Three trips in a row now. They've been able to get an offensive rebound and a second and third look at the basket. UCLA cannot allow that to happen. And why is that happening? Long rebound. They're not boxing out. They're getting long rebounds. They're tipping it out. The guards have to put a body on somebody just like the big fellas. Again, I'm going to mention your buddy Rodman. And, you know, we talk about rebounding, and a, so, a lot of it is technique and boxing out, but so much of it is desire. And right now, the Gauchos just going after Full of short, and the Bruins going to get this one on the floor. Everybody in the scrum, <laughs> and it's loose, and it's taken by Bozeman. Had a streaking Cummings for a moment, but instead, the prevailed, a cooler head, and it's a Bozeman now to Thompson. We've got nine minutes to play. Too hard, too hard for Faye that time. He's on the floor trying to save it out of bounds. A good idea by said, but he's got to take a little off of that. Yeah, a, when you're only six or seven feet away, you can't throw the pass that quickly. He's, he's knifed a couple of them in there, but especially when you're throwing to your big man from five or six, seven feet. Got to have a little bit of touch on the ball. Turnovers, nearly even. Remember, we had a uh, plethora of the, the start of the game, and the teams are playing a better basketball as far as uh, keeping a hold of it here lately. UCSB on a 16-8 run. Josh Davis down the middle, scores! 
UCSB is getting second shot attempts, they're getting penetration, they're getting to the rim. And that is why they're winning this basketball game. UCLA has got to shut down the paint first and they can test shots and the shooters are getting wide open. Davis uh, slashing and take advantage of a non-whistle, perhaps a run. Here is Bozeman outside scoring. You know, if, if he can shoot outside with any consistency, he'll be unstoppable. I mean, that's the, the one part of the game that is, is a weakness, if you will. It's the outside consistency with the jump. I like that shot. I like the fact that he made it. I like the fact that he took it. The UCLA Bullets needed a basket. I talked about Bozeman wanting to be a leader. That's how you become a leader. You step up and make big shots when your team needs it. C, working on Morrison. Coming over to help out Cummins. Well, he's working defensively, but lost. Cook, who scores? Well, you, UCSB does so much away from the basket, the back cutting, the back picks, you know, the motion in their offense, they're, they're constantly moving without the basketball, and they're just knifing the Bruins to death. Morrison, rebound, the battle, taken, whistle, no basket, no basket, gonna be a foul on Santa Barbara, you know, you talk about Santa Barbara, you know, it's some motion, it's an offense that's attacked and filled behind in quick hitting sets. And you know what, Bob Williams took out a lot of what he had in last year because he wanted to simplify things. He said, fewer things, but we're going to run them a whole lot better this year. And so far, so good. Jack, we'll get back to you in a minute. It's a three-point lead for Santa Barbara. There is good, and there is evil. We all have within us the capacity for both. But in the end, a final question remains. Which side are you on? In an epic struggle between light and dark, choose your path and seal the fate of the galaxy. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, rated T-15. For saving the galaxy, there's no power greater than X. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and then what? <laughs> I remember it. The game against West. Two seconds left, you put up a Hail Mary, I make the catch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wow. Talk all you want this holiday. Get unlimited nationwide SBC long distance calling for just $20 a month guaranteed. One more way, we bring it all home. A crash course in auto insurance. Cover your assets. Think you've got enough coverage to protect what you have? Wrong. Huh? Suppose you get in an accident. If you don't have enough coverage, you could be seriously exposed. Oh. Go to 21st.com. You'll get a quote that could save you hundreds, and our coverage calculator will help you figure out how much coverage you may need. It's the way to make sure your assets are covered. Get more. More coverage, more service, more savings. Call 21st Century Insurance Company at 1-800-211-SAVE. UCLA down three to the Gauchos with 7.38 to play. And the reason the Gauchos are up, they are getting great ball movement and points in the paint. Penetration, getting inside. Hagel down, Whitehead with the reverse, up and under and off the glass. Dropping the ball and getting great movement away from the basketball. Right now, just slicing through the porous UCLA defense, shooting almost 60% from the floor are the Gauchos. Points in the paint, 14-10 UCLA, play underway again. Ariza, oh, back pass to Bozeman. Highlight film stuff off the inbound. Eight for set on the beautiful assist by Ariza. And it's a one-point game again with seven and a half to play. Fourth assist for Trevor Ariza. Brandon Fuller, down low to Cook, trying to spin, boy, Ariza gave him baseline, but it was a horrible shot. They battle for it again on the ground, and the Gauchos come up with it. So they rush the shot. Another offensive rebound. Oliver bounces down, with, that's good movement. I'll tell you what, Scotetti was moving without the ball and gave Oliver a place to put it, and he scores, it's 53-50. Uh, I talked to Bob Williams before the game, he told me they have to do a couple things to win this game. Rebound, they're doing that. Offensive rebounds are killing the Bruins. Ball movement, they're doing that. They're making the extra pass, and their team is moving crisply within the offense, and they don't turn the ball over, and they can stay in this game. And right now, they've got a comfortable three-point lead. Hollins will be in at a whistle. Ariza, he's got to get out of the key. He had one foot in. Morrison finds some room. Three-pointer, no. Taken by Cook. He's played well. Six and a half to play. Gauchos with the ball and a three-point lead, looking for their fifth win of the season and to win their fourth in a row. You know, this three-game winning streak in non-conference, only the second time they've won three in a row non-conference in Bob Williams' six years. Here's Oliver. All the way! Matador defense and scores! 
UCLA defense has broke down in this game. They're rebounding. Yeah, it's time to start banging some bodies inside. Put a body on somebody. Box out. Knock someone on the floor if you have to. They've got to, they've got to establish an inside presence. UCLA right now very porous on the inside. The Gauchos getting anything they want in the paint. Remember Santa Barbara opened the game 5-0. Now they're back to another five-point lead at 55-50. And T.J. Cummings uh, will be coming in also at a whistle to try to settle things down a bit. Bozeman out to Morrison with seven on the clock. Thompson for three. Big shot. Big players make big shots. That time Dijon stepped up. He's the offensive go-to guy for Ben Howard, and he just stepped up and made a big one. He's got 10. He's been remarkably consistent, too. His high this year is 18, and he averages 16, which means each and every game he's right around that 16-point mark. He doesn't fluctuate big and then small. Here's Oliver. Down low to Cook. He's moving on to Reza. Fly, swatted away by Faye. Good play by Faye. Take it by Bozeman. He's got three blocks. Now Bozeman stops at the free throw line to Thompson. They're down by two. Underneath, stolen away by Scotetti, who stepped in front of Ariza. Another turnover for UCLA. Excellent possession last time. A nice physical possession by UCLA defensively. Turnover number 15 for the Bruins. We've got 4.51 remaining. And it looks like a per usual here at Poly Pavilion. We're going to have one that goes down to the final possession. And Oliver, the little guy, getting lost amongst the big guys. Well, he has speed and, and quickness. The one thing that Oliver can do, you know, is turn the corner. You see UCLA just a, a total defensive breakdown here. I mean, Cook sends a, that's not even a good screen. It's kind of a half screen, but no one communicating on the, the weak side. No one standing in the paint, and he just slices right down the middle and lays the basketball in. UCLA right now, it's gut check time. 4.51 to play. You're down two in your old building. Here's my question for you, Billy. Yes, sir. You blow the lead the other day to Laurel and Marymount. Is it playing in your mind? This is where you have to learn how to win ball games. This is where you have to break your opponent. You have to have that, that edge, that cockiness that I talked about. You have to have that confidence. UCLA right now trying to find that in their game. You have to believe they're going to win this game. Here's where you turn it on. Most folks think good teams win close games. That's the old adage, bench points. Bruins have been outscored in that department. And how about this? All of UCLA's bench points from TJ Cummings. That's not good enough for UCLA. they got to get production from others. Uh, UCSB started this half shooting two out of seven since then. They've really warmed up, took the lid off the basket. They're eight out of 12. Gauchos lost both games in the Montana Holiday Classic, but they beat Hawaii, Pepperdine, Westmont, and USD. But this would be the big win for them this year as they get ready for Kansas up in Reno in a tournament this weekend. 15 foul on UCLA, so two more and we'll be shooting free throws. And we've got 444 remaining and the fourth foul on Ariza. Dribble oh. drive, Ariza has to put his hands in his pockets and a taco, you don't think he knew it? He went right around him to score. Yeah, I get the taco credit. Uh, Ariza was not ready to play on that possession. He, he was looking the other way and he just caught the ball and went right by him. Bozeman, Bruins down by four. Thompson. Guarded closely by Cook, who came out to meet him. Bozeman again with the ball high over his head. Who wants to shoot the ball for UCLA? You talked about it. Who wants to shoot it with four minutes to play? Dijon does. Has it for three. Dijon does, and Dijon should. Dijon right now has to take this game over. He is often, he is the best offensive player for the Bruins. Under four out. minutes. You have to give him the green light in the final minutes of the game. I'm going to play through to Deshaun. You're my guy. He's knocked down two good shots. He's doing a great job. You take a look at a taco just blowing right by Trevor Ariza, taking it all the way in for the strong finish. Dijon stepping up and making plays. The big guns have to win this one down the stretch. Twenty-two times optical zoom. Downloads up to seventy-five hundred songs. Oh. Takes digital photos too. <sighs> now at Good Guys, pay no interest until two thousand seven. That's thirty-seven months. Good Guys here to help. All the day long, with the rain or shine.
she's a part of the assembly line. She's making history, working for victory. Rosie! The Riveter. Were you a Rosie or know someone who was? That little gal can do more than a male can do. Rosie! The Riveter. Share your memories. They could become part of the Rosie the Riveter World War II Homefront National Historical Park. is your inside source for gridiron news. Jay, you were actually the one who called Keyshawn to tell him he was being deactivated. Insider Jay Glazer breaks the story before anyone else. I spoke to some team officials today and they do think that there's a good chance he can get a year's suspension. Inside the hood, behind the scenes and breaking news. Test positive for THG, you're going to have a four game ban. Totally Football, weeknights on Fox Sports Net. Welcome back. One point lead for the Gauchos. They've never beaten the Bruins. And Friday, the Lakers return to the Staples Center Court when they take on Carmelo and the Denver Nuggets. One of the surprises in the NBA. They're a pretty good team. Coverage begins at 7 o'clock. Not 7.30. 7 o'clock. Jack, you and I are going to be there for Lakers Live. They're shortchanging us. Let me tell you why the Nuggets are so good. Give credit to Kiki Vanderway, former Bruin. He's in charge in Denver right now. He's put together one heck of a team. Carmelo Anthony, Marcus Canby. They're going to give the Lakers all they're going to have because Kobe Bryant probably will not be in uniform. Yep, he's got to go to Denver for a hearing. Uh, we'll, 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 not Denver, you know what I'm talking about. Eagle County. Not a smart foul. Not a smart foul. Man's 20 feet away from the basket. You don't want to pick up easy fouls now and put them on the free throw line. We have one more foul now and they'll be in the bonus. Out of bounds. Team fouls important. Of course, the UCSB will be shooting the next time around on a whistle, regardless if it's a shooting or not. Here's Joe C. Bounce right side, Oliver, who's playing key minutes here, earning them in crunch time. Josh Davis, he's got 22, plenty of time on the clock. Cook, dribble drive on Cummings, and a foul. That means one and one. One and one, that's what I talked about. You don't want to pick up the cheap foul, because now they're in the bonus. Not only that, but as you just saw, the Gauchos with only four fouls, they can be aggressive defensively. They have fouls to give. They can go for that extra swipe. They can body up. UCLA now, when you're, you're in a tight ball game, you don't want to just give team a, a good, give teams easy points. And that's what happens when you put them on free throw line. Some pretty good balance tonight for UCSB as Hollins is out, Ariza back in. Last game when they scored 90 against USD in their last game. That was the most points they scored in two years. Four players in double figures. First time this year for the Gauchos. And once again, they're spreading it around well. Oh, that's a key rebound. Granted, it was a long rebound, but Whitehead took advantage. They're not guarding him. He misses the layup. Tipped up and in by Cook. Boy, Whitehead turned and nobody was, with, was within six feet. And uh, he blew the layup, but Cook with another second effort. Another Every time down the floor, two, three looks at the basket. UCLA forgetting the basic principles of putting a body on someone and boxing out. UCLA so much longer, so much bigger, so much stronger, and they're just getting killed in the ground. Thompson open. Missed the shot, rebound, Whitehead. So they've got the ball and the lead. The Gauchos of UCSB and C. Josie Conquer De La Salle, Walnut Creek, runs into the big man, no whistle. Over now to Josh Davis, back to Davis. Remember, he was hot from three early on. Uh, Bozeman's on the floor, no travel, no whistle. We're continuing to play with 14 on the shot clock, and C's got to quickly get into the offense. UC UCSB showing great patience here. C's open C. for three. Long read, Another rebound. Rebound. push off on the Got his hand caught in the middle of the back of Trevor Ariza. He did. He got his hand, but inside, take a look at the offensive rebound. Look at UCLA. No one jumping. No one reacting to the basketball. Cook, the only person to get off the floor, and that's why he tipped the basketball in. UCLA just standing around and watching. 
Cook, one of the workhorses, has four fouls. Nearly picks one up there. So now worrying about the fact that he's one away from elimination and goes for the steal on a reason. We've got two and a half to play. 59-56, Gauchos on top of the Bruins. And the Gauchos win for the first time against this university. Bozeman all the way, scores! Nice job, I said, Bozeman recognizing that they went under the pick and roll. He was able to get his shoulder in there on the top roll, take it all the way in, and use his height and size to kiss that off the glass. Yes, it's four of them. They're going to go under, turn the corner, and get into the lane. Timeout, Santa Barbara. 2.06 remaining. 59 58 Bruins down by one and a Bozeman who has uh, shown a propensity for this uh, early in the season when it gets late he takes it into his own hands. And as I said you, you, you recognize that the taco had gone under the pick and roll he had the step on him took the penetration and, and he's a very good player Cedric Bozeman in the low post. In the low post I mean he scored his back to the basket and on that situation he drove the ball in and was able to finish with a low post type move kissing it off the glass with a little big jump hook. Coming up after the game, right after the game, this is Southern California Sports Report. We will break down this one with interviews and analysis. The latest on the uh, hot stove league in baseball. So much going on. If that trade goes through, the dominoes will fall and the Clippers and the Bucks from Staples Center as the Eclipse look to win their fourth in a row at home. All that and more coming up right after this. But here we've got 2.06 remaining. And the Bruins down by one. And now they've got to make a defensive stand. Uh, Jacoby Ataco back the point. Joe C is still in them. UCLA going small, trying to match up with their speed and quickness. TJ Cummings playing center position. Bozeman and C. Boy, C quick on the dribble, going baseline. C all the way, gets himself in a bit of trouble. Whitehead back to C. Nine on the shot clock. They still have time. Davis. And now it's at six. It's at five. C has a stolen away. Bruins have it. Bozeman. Bozeman in trouble. Foul, number 11, that'll be Joe C picking up the personal foul. Excellent defensive possession by UCLA, running the shot clock down to just two or three seconds. You know, did a nice job moving as a team, staying in front of the basketball. We talked about how good Cedric Bozeman is on the ball. He's the best on the ball defender that Ben Howland has. He's able to get, get the strip there by Joe C. Next whistle, next foul on UCLA, on uh, Santa Barbara rather, will be free throw time for the Bruins. So both teams in the bonus. We've got a minute 26 remaining. One point lead for the Gauchos. Here's Trevor Ariza, the freshman. Has it baseline, trying to work on Cook, who has four fouls underneath the Cummings. Gets sandwiched. Down he goes. It's three on two the other way. Ataco. Ataco moves to the middle. Ataco attacks the basket, puts it up, kind of a goes. No, offensive foul will go the other way. Nice job by Morris of getting his feet in there and taking the charge. Ataco taking the ball strong to the basket. And then a definite player control foul there. Just threw his body into him, trying to draw the foul. And we have a timeout with a minute and 11 remaining. We'll stay right here. And here's the charge a moment ago. Great job. Look, look, look at Morrison coming all the way across and having the presence of mind to stay down. Stay down and take the charge. You got to get your feet set. Great job. You know, Morrison has done a lot of things in this game that have really changed the complexion of the game without scoring the ball. Nice job there taking the charge. And a lot of penetration and dish setting guys up earlier when they were running the zone. Let's reset. There's plenty of timeouts uh, for each team. A couple. Uh, each team in the bonus. And as always, the possession arrow when it gets late. And uh, it will belong to UCLA if it's a jump situation. The Bruins. 3-1 on the year. They get Michigan State here Saturday, then the next week at Michigan. We'll be back here, remember, at Paula Pavilion for the conference opener against Oregon State. For the Gauchos, they look for win number five tonight. Kansas is next on their schedule, then Alabama State. Their home, next home game at the Thunderdome, a great home court advantage. It's not until the 8th of January. They'll already be in the conference schedule when Utah State is the opponent. All right, Jack, we got a minute 11. Set it up for us, 59-58. Well, good news for UCLA, UCSB, not a good free throw shooting team. And on the other side of the court, good news for, for Bob Williams because UCLA, not a good free throw shooting team. Both teams shoot about 65%. So you, you, you can gamble, you can put them on the line here. On the floor, Morrison, Thompson, Bozeman, Ariza, and Cummings for the Bruins. Whitehead, Cook, Ataco, C, 
and Davis for the Gauchos. And Bozeman with the basketball coming up with a minute to play. UCLA trails by one. Bozeman goes around a pick by Cummings. Cedric, dribble drive all the way. Put it up and missed. Tipped up by Cummings. No, the Gauchos have it in seat, and he smartly slows it up. 50 seconds remaining. The shot clock is 19 ahead of the game clock. Ariza at the other end, scores! Bruins lead! The freshman! Timeout! Huge play by Trevor Ariza. 40 seconds remain. Santa Barbara will have the ball. UCLA leads by one. Trevor Reza timing this perfectly. Just jumping out, getting the steal, taking the length of the floor, the two-hand dunk, electrifying the crowd, putting UCLA on top. The speed and the poise to finish, too, at the other end with a taco bearing down on it. Absolutely. You know, we talked about it earlier in this game. Trevor Ariza, very comfortable on the floor as a freshman. Does so many things as well. Passes the ball, rebounds. They're getting the steal, stepping up when they need it. That is why Ben Howland says he's comfortable when this young man's on the floor. Good news for the Bruins. Not only do they lead, but the shot clock is five ahead of the game clock. So if they can get a defensive rebound, or even if Santa Barbara scores, obviously they'll get at least another look at the basket. So 60-59, Bruins lead, and here comes Itaka with everybody up the pole. Whitehead, they want to get to the ball. The Josie come off some type of a, 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 a there it is. Josie with it, three-point country, backs out, guarded by Thompson. 19 on the shot clock. Here's a shot by Davis Stone. Rebound, Casey Cook underneath. He's fouled. They'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul's going to be on Thompson. If I am Bob Williams, I tell my team to shoot the ball because might as well. You're going to get an offensive rebound every time. Great position. Cook just jumping right over. Cummings. UCLA players, Cummings. And they... Not Thompson. It was on Cummings. I saw Thompson raise his hand, but it's on TJ, and that's his fourth. In case we have an overtime, let's not forget. Cook to shoot. Two. 75% free throw shooter. Good. Tied at 60. 18.4 remaining. Cook had been leading this team in scoring. He's had a great night. Gauchos lead. Timeout, Ben Howell. Well, timeout, actually Bob Williams called that one. So uh, Williams wants to set up defensively. Howland, and uh, you can almost bet what it will be for UCLA. What has it been down the stretch? It's been Bozeman isolated on the top. And then, of course, it's his opportunity to look for the open man or take it himself. Offensive rebounds, you've been harping on it a lot, the second chances for UCSB. Offensive rebounds, UCLSB 12, UCLA 8. It's been the difference in this game, the second chance points. Now, what is UCLA going to do? You talked about it, Bill. You're going to get the ball into Cedric Bozeman's hands, either an isolation up top or a high pick and roll, get some type of penetration, then try to get the ball with a drawing kick into the hands of Dijon Thompson or spot up T.J. Cummings. Those are the guys that you want taking the, the shot down the stretch here. Again, Cummings, Thompson, or Bozeman all the way to the hoop. Morrison also out on the floor. One thing you don't want to do is just settle for a shot. Try to penetrate, try to get the free throw line. And Santa Barbara picking up full court, making the Bruins earn it. They're going to give play. it to Bozeman. Here we go now. 16 seconds remaining. Bruins down by one. Bozeman with 12. There's the isolation out on top. Bozeman and Ataco with nine, with eight. Bozeman dribble drive. Bozeman all the way. Off the glass. No. Rebound underneath. Out of bounds. Who's got it? UCLA. Two and a half seconds remaining. UCLA. My great job getting that offensive rebound there. Timeout. Time this time UCLA. So an opportunity to take the ball out of bounds under the basket and set up a play. What they like to do in this type of situation is this. Anyway, let's take first look at Bozeman. This is what we talked about. The ability to get inside. That's a shot that he definitely could have finished. Look at Luke Morrison just flying in from the weak side to keep that basketball alive. Bozeman driving, trying to kiss it off the glass. That is one of the shots that Ben Allen wanted. He got great a good look. look at it. Great Got look. a great look at it. Now, let's talk, talk about the baseline out of bounds. This is Ben Allen, UCLA. 
You're going to run some type of a, a screen. You want your shooters coming off. You're going to try to get the ball to DeJon Thompson coming off of some type of a pick situation, popping out on the wing. They'll have an opportunity to catch and make a quick move you have plenty of time. and a shot. You, you don't have to shoot it right two away. Two point four on the clock. You can actually drive, penetrate, and even lay it up if you're quick enough. Bozeman will take it out of bounds under his own basket. Bruins will pick from the free throw line. Two and a half to play. Santa Barbara's never beaten the Bruins. Bozeman will take it out. Wants Ariza. Stolen away. Game over. Gauchos win it. That's the end of the game. The They do it at the end with defense. Here's the play again. They wanted Ariza the whole way. And a great play by Casey Cook. And he just knew it. He got the ball and said, I'm killing this last second right Not here. a smart pass. Straight forced that pass in there. I mean, Cook was all over it defensively. And UCLA really never had the Casey Cook player of the game. And he should be. 15.6 rebounds. Was all over the offensive glass. Did a great job from start to finish for just outplaying the UCLA Bruins. That'll do it. We'll see you again on Saturday when Michigan State is here. 3.30, the telecast. Remember, they will name the court after John Wooden and his wife, Nell. Santa Barbara wins it. For Jack, I'm Billy Mack. Right now, the Southern California Sports Report with Van Earl and Carol. The following program is a paid advertisement for Al's Air, brought to you by Alpha Male Nutrition Incorporated. Certain results featured on this program are atypical. Some participants.